All right, it's finally here. You guys have been asking for it. Here is my updated sessions, stats, and settings video. Not a lot has changed since my last stats and settings video, but you guys have been wanting the most up-to-date version of my settings. Gameplay settings, board settings, flip settings, advanced settings, everything. All right, let's get into it. Okay, first off, we're going into gameplay settings. All right, starting off input mode, I use front and back foot. Personally, this mode just makes a lot more sense to me and I'm used to it by this point. It felt more similar to Skitter XL, so it was an easier process to go from Skitter XL to session and that's why I use front to back foot. Body rotation mode is manual. I think that you get the most control out of manual. You can really control how much you want to rotate and how little you want to rotate a lot easier with this and it just feels a lot more natural. Be a lot of respawn is off, that doesn't matter. Uh, big drop landing input is disabled because I just don't see the point now. Okay, on the board settings. So my sync truck tightness is off. I like my back truck and my front truck to be a little bit different in tightness. As you can tell, I've tightened my trucks a little bit. They were a lot looser than this in one of my previous videos, but I've tightened them a little bit because I think that I was going to maybe a little bit overboard with my looseness. So my front truck tightness is at three. My back truck tightness is at four. The back truck being a little bit tighter just makes for, it just gives you a little bit more stability when you're popping. Your front truck being looser just means turning is a little bit easier. But for me, nice loose trucks like this uh, make session just flow and feel a lot better. Okay, wheel bite's disabled because wheel bite is a pain in the ass. I don't want it in a video game. I don't like it in real life. I don't want it in session. And my wheel grip is at four. Okay, on to flip trick settings. Catch mode is of course manual. I like the extra challenge of having to catch your board after every trick. I like that rewarding feeling when you land a really hard trick because you've put that extra bit of effort into landing it. Board control mode is on manual. This just means that you have a bit more control over how you flip and scoop your board. I would definitely recommend having this on manual at all times. Flip speed mode is input speed. This just makes the most sense to me. Flip continuous mode is off. The reason I have this off is because if you have manual catch on and you just don't catch your board, the board's gonna continue to flip anyway. So I just don't see a point of having this on as well. If this does make any sort of difference, please let me know in the comments. Sync flips and scoops is on. The reason being is that tray flips and other kind of shove and flip tricks at the minute look a little bit funny when you have this off. I don't like the way tray flips look. They do almost like an extra shove it or something and they just look unnatural. They don't look right. I, I keep my sync flips and scoops on just because it looks so much better in my opinion. Scoop input mode is normal. Scoop speed mode is input speed. The same as my flip speed mode. This just feels the most natural. Scoop continuous mode is off again because I have manual catch. So if you just don't catch the board, it'll continue to scoop anyway. Pop height mode is unique. So this just means that depending on how your feet are set up, you're going to have either a lower pop or a higher pop. It also depends on what stance you're in. This is just more realistic and I just like, I like this feature. So I have that on unique. Late tricks are off. I just don't do late tricks very often. If I want to do a late trick, I'll turn this on and quick shove it's are on because I think quick shove it's look really cool and you can do some really nice tricks with these. Okay. On the grind settings. Casual grind mode is off. I don't really see a difference between having this on and off at the minute. I'm not too sure if it's working as intended, um, but I just have this off just to kind of keep the game a little bit more challenging. Grind input mode is no release. I just feel like the game controls feel a bit more smooth, um, a bit more intuitive if you have this on no release. Grind alignment is on five. This might seem pretty high to some people. It might seem pretty low to others. I think five is a pretty nice one. Pretty much anything from three down to zero is broken at the minute. There's supposed to be a dedicated weight system implemented with grind alignment. However, Creature didn't have time to actually add this to the game. So really anything lower than three and grind alignment, you just unrealistically slip out of grinds that you shouldn't slip out of. You could be really locked into a no slide and the game will basically just like push you out of the no slide. So I have mine at five. Um, I'm pretty sure but just anywhere between four and five is pretty good because it's that extra challenge because you'll still slip out, but you'll slip out more realistically. It's not too low to where the game's just pushing you out with for no reason. So uh, five is a pretty good spot I find for grind alignment. Trick relative input is off. I just feel like the game just plays and feels a lot better if you have uh, this off. And dark slides are off just because I don't do dark slides. And um, the dark slides are very cool. Okay, on the refurt settings, refurt on ground, refurt on landing and auto refurt are all disabled. I don't use the revert mechanic, so I don't double tap my triggers to revert. I do my reverting solely through the power slide mechanic, and I just do a full 180 power slide essentially to revert. Okay, into wear and tear settings. Uh, for this, clothing dirt is on, board wear and tear is on because I. Uh, it's just a cool feature. This doesn't matter though; it doesn't affect gameplay. Okay, now on to advanced settings. So there is no number values in session. You just have to count up the increments of which you move your little bar up or down. It goes from zero to 10 in the middle, up to 20. Zero is the lowest. 
10 is default and 20 is the highest. I'm just gonna go through each one and put the numbers up on screen like I did in the last video. Uh, and then you guys can just copy the numbers. It goes down in increments of one. So the best way to do this is just count up and down like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I feel like that's just the easiest way to copy these settings. Okay, so my gravity is at 10, which is default. Creature Studios and Donovan Strain have come out and said that the default gravity is the most realistic gravity. And I just stuck with it and I think it works great. I really like it. Both push force and max push speed are at 18. Foot breaking friction is 10. Banking slash turn rate is 10. Crouching bank rate is at 7. Pop to body distance is at 6. Low pop height is at 10. High pop height is at 12. Grind pop height is at 10. Manual pop height is at 10. Body rotation rate is at 8. Body rotation friction is at 8. In air board orient speed is at 12. Flip speed is at 7. Flip friction is at 12. Scoop speed is at 8. Scoop friction is at 11. Grind's friction is at 7. Grind rotation rate is at 10. Power slide's friction is at 1. I have this super low because I love my power slides just sliding for ages. Uh, and I also don't like my power slides to slow me down too much so I can throw them into lines. Board control side impulse is 10. Board control extra pitch is 10. Board control extra scoop is 10. Dark slide catch angle is 10, though this doesn't matter because I have dark slides off. Big drop max height is 10, this doesn't matter because I have big drop mode off. Pumping impulse multiplier is 10. Max sprint speed is at full just because why not just be sonic when you're off your board? It means you get the spots quicker. All right, and there we go. That is my entire updated gameplay settings. And now we're going to go into my camera settings. So for camera lens, I just like to use the default one. I have a VX1000 camera model on just because I think it looks really nice. Uh, I have the speciality instant photo camera filter, which looks pretty nice right now. I change my camera filter quite a lot. I just like to change the vibe of the game, especially for videos for you guys. Camera filter intensity is all the way up and camera light is on. Okay, on foot camera settings. My camera distance is at seven. My horizontal offset is at five. My vertical offset is at 16. Grinds and slides camera is enabled, but I try and keep it quite subtle. Grind camera distance is at six. Grind horizontal offset is at nine. Grind vertical offset is at five. Stance auto offset is off. Horizontal leading ratio is seven. Vertical follow ratio is eight. And pitch tracking ratio is 10. Okay, onto my on foot camera settings. Uh, my camera mode is manual and invert X and Y are both off. I'm gonna go through my audio and display settings as well, just because I always get a few questions about my display settings, my graphic settings. So I might as well just cover all bases. Audio settings, master volumes up, music volumes all the way down for making YouTube videos. And also I'm sick of uh, hearing the same songs over and over again. Uh, if you put the ambience volume all the way up and the sound volume a little bit lower, you can still very much hear your board and hear the character, but turning up the ambience all the way just makes the game sound a lot nicer in my opinion. All right, so display settings. Trick display is off because I like to have a clean display at all times. I play the game on full screen, 1080p. I have a frame rate limit of 60 FPS. I'm pretty sure there's some bugs at the minute if you go higher than that, so I would recommend keeping it at 60. My resolution scale is at 14. I have shadow quality medium, anti-aliasing medium, textures medium, effects are on high, post-processing is medium, V-Sync is on and my brightness is at 10. Having pretty much everything in medium plays the best on a lower end system, which my system is lower end. Uh, I have a GTX 970 graphics card, so quite an old graphics card, but having everything on medium, session runs extremely smooth. Yeah, it just plays great. Also, here's my day and night settings for anybody that's interested. I have day and night cycle off just because I like to choose my time of day when I skid. Okay, we're going to quickly go through the experimental settings as well. I have fish, skitter physical animation enabled, uh, Casper's disabled, Primo's disabled just because I don't do those kind of tricks. Lip tricks enabled, that's how you can do slappies and, and also lip tricks as well. Map layouts are both unloaded. I have NPCs off because they just get in the way and they're really annoying. All right, so there we go. There is my entire list of updated stats and settings even all the way down to the settings that don't even matter really to gameplay but i wanted to cover every single thing so you know exactly how my game runs how it plays and uh, yeah you can now take what you need from this video and hopefully you find those perfect settings to make session uh, fun and enjoyable and a uh, smooth experience to finish this off i'm gonna get a trick on this ledge right here Alright, thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next session video. Peace.